If you are looking to take your game to the next level, then sign up to Fantasy Football Hub, one-stop shop for all things fantasy football. By becoming a member, you will gain access to a range of fantasy tools, such as head-to-head -head player comparison, up-to-data stats, fixture ticker powered by spread betting odds, and a wide range of members only articles. Sign up now with the link below and get 25% off your membership. Hey folks, and welcome back to my FPL strategy. In this video, I'll be going through my initial draft team selection for game week one. But before I commence, shout out to the managers on screen for securing the top three spots in last season's mini league. If you're interested in joining this year's league, the league code is in the description box below. In goal, McCarthy gets the keeper spot. Similar to last season, my strategy is to keep the money spent on goalkeepers to a minimum. Although McCarthy only managed to keep seven clean sheets last season. Out of the 4.5 mil keepers, the Saint probably have the most favourable opening fixtures. Trent gets first pick in defence. I mean, what more can I say? With 12 clean sheets, 13 assists and 4 goals last season and priced at 7.5 mil, feels like a bargain. Despite Liverpool facing Arsenal and Chelsea in game week 2 and 3, I suspect the Reds to hit the ground running with their opening fixture against Leeds. Crystal Palace new signing Ferguson gets a spot in my team. With a number of key players injured at the back, the versatile teenager could see himself in the starting lineup. Albeit the Eagles opening fixtures is not the best on paper, but a defender priced at 4 mil with a strong likelihood of starting offers great value potential. Joining Ferguson is Wolves left back Ruben Vinagra. With Johnny on the sideline with a serious injury, there is a good chance the Portuguese footballer could pave his way into the starting lineup. Price at 4.5 mil, the left back could offer a cheap alternative into the Wolves defence. After the tricky opening fixtures against Sheffield United and Man City, the Wolves face a good run of matches. Completing the back four is Leicester City James Justin. With injured first choice Piera expected out to October, like Venegra, the English professional could offer a cheap alternative into Leicester City's defence, especially looking at the Foxes' run of games. In midfield, Salah gets first pick. The Egyptian international was the second highest FPL scorer, scoring 233 points, just 18 points behind Kevin De Bruyne. With a live ownership of 32% and the opening fixture against newly promoted side Leeds, the Egyptian is a strong candidate for captaincy for game week one. Joining Salah is Arsenal's top scorer Aubameyang. The talisman has now been reclassified as a midfielder due to playing the majority of last season on the left. In his new position, the Gabonese will now get an additional one point for scoring as well as keeping a clean sheet. Arsenal start the season with an away trip against Fulham, a team that they have a good track record against, with Aubameyang scoring three goals in the last two Premier League meetings. Son gets my third pick in midfield. The South Korean was Spurs' most impressive player under Jose, averaging just under six points per game from game week 13 onwards. Tottenham have one of the kindest runs, facing just one of the last season's top eight sides in the first eight game weeks. Completing the four in midfield is Chelsea's new signing Hakim Ziyech. The playmaker arrived at Chelsea, having scored six goals and 12 assists for Ajax. A favourable early schedule for Chelsea gives the Moroccan the perfect platform to hit the ground running. Up front, Golden Boot winner Jamie Vardy gets the nod. The English striker had a strong campaign last season, 
scoring 23 goals and 5 assists. Leicester City opening fixtures in a way match against West Brom. Vardy has a decent track record against the Baggies, scoring 3 goals in the last 2 away meetings. Completing the 2 up front is Mitrovic, with 26 goals and 2 assists in the Championship last season, it's not surprising to see the Fulham striker high up on the ownership list. Despite the opening fixture against Arsenal, Fulham run of games is pretty decent. If Fulham are to score goals, I suspect this man to be at the end of them. On the substitute bench, I kept the spending to a minimum, with none out of the four players costing me more than 4.5 mil. For captaincy, it's hard to look past Salah, but as an Arsenal supporter, I'm leaning towards the Bamiyang. But with pre-season underway, my team is not locked in. However, if you're interested in seeing my final team selection, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Details in the description below. Before I sign out, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit the like button and get subscribed. Otherwise, this is my FPL strategy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.